Our series, Collecting Carolina, takes us to the ultimate adult learning vacation way up in the mountains to Brasstown. Producer Julia Carpenter visits the John C. Campbell Folk School to explore the many options awaiting people who want to try a new craft or improve their existing skills. People who collect North Carolina crafts often like to have a little fun and make some crafts too. So Collecting Carolina is off to the John C. Campbell Folk School, where you can learn to do just about anything. That's the wild hog in the woods. And this is a banjo made in Watauga County, North Carolina by Frank Prophet. About 1964, it's cherry wood and groundhog skin. And it's the kind of thing you can make at the John C. Campbell Folk School. The John C. Campbell Folk School is an adult craft camp with over 60 subject areas. There's limited cell phone and internet service and no televisions. Ah, but it's the perfect setting for an adult learning vacation. And we have a lot of kids who are uh, like over 50 who come here and we give them a chance to reconnect with things that they used to do and have always wanted to do again. We also, it's, it's an interesting place because there are always several different generations of people here. There's always young people and there's folks who are in their working years and taking vacation. There's always retired people. And there are also people here who are at all skill levels. Uh, we're a great place for beginners, but the most proficient artists in the world come back here to learn because they like the way we teach and the way it feels and the way the community embraces what they're doing. This is a North Carolina institution and it has always uh, been a part of this community, which uh, even though it's only about eight miles to Georgia and 10 miles to Tennessee or something, it's, uh, it's very much North Carolina and our teachers uh, uh, live in this community and work here. Most of our classes are beginner classes or they are suitable for uh, folks who haven't had that much experience. And when they get here, um, they are, they are uh, able to try things without being afraid. There's no, there's no grades and there's no tests. In fact, that's the big thing about what makes it a folk school. When you come to the folk school, you live here. That's part of the magic of it is that you park your car, and you walk everywhere that you need to go. You eat here, you live here, you go to school here. Here's your intro, you got two A's, two B's. Since 1991, Anne has taught thousands of beginning students to play the dulcimer. This is one of the most popular classes and fills up quickly. I take such joy in seeing the discovery that these students have that they can make music. Many times I get students in that say I've never been able to play a musical instrument, I always wanted to, and most often they leave here with the knowledge and the experience of how to play and how to continue playing and the music just enriches their life. Typical day at the folk school starts with a morning walk and then we have morning song and then we have breakfast. So after breakfast you go to your class and then at lunch you all get back together, have lunch together, then you go back to class again. I love to teach. I love to see the light bulbs go off over those students' heads come Tuesday when they start getting it. And that aha moment where they're going, wow, I am so glad I'm here and I'm so glad I'm learning. My wife Lynette and I have been teaching a pottery class this last week. And our first project was to make a tall vase to do a raku firing. First we have to bisque fire the pieces, so we loaded the bases last night and they just are coming out now and we're getting ready to glaze them. This is probably one of the greatest experiences we can have as a, as a family of women. We've enjoyed each other, we've had fun together, we, every part of it has been so enjoyable and so lovely and we know we're looking forward to doing it again. We're already planning next year. Well, we welcome you for a day visit, we welcome you for a week, we welcome you for a weekend. We would love for you to come to the John C. Campbell Folk School. The John C. Campbell Folk School is calling you to the mountains for an unforgettable adult learning experience. For North Carolina Weekend and Collecting Carolina, I'm Julia Carpenter. The John C. Campbell Folk School is in Brasstown. That's in Clay County. To enjoy an adult crafting learning vacation of your own, 
contact the school at 1-800-365-5724 or go online to folkschool.org. For more information on this series, Collecting Carolina, go to our website, unctv.org slash ncweekend slash collecting.